Silly Balloon Mom here, coming to you from the wilds of Arizona. I'm going to do a mermaid for you here at the East Verde River. I'm going to start with my balloons already blown up so we can get right to the fun. I take a blush colored balloon and a red balloon. We're going to tie the two knot, hold the two knots across from each other like this. Ooh, a lot of fun. Your shoes till there, dear. A lot of fun here at the East Verde River. So you pull them across, and then you put your finger in the middle. You crisscross, and you give it another tie and pull. We've now tied the two balloons together. Now, most balloons are done as a series of twists and pinch twists. So we're going to pinch and twist one, two, three to make a loop for the hair. And then we're going to do a pinch twist. I'm going to teach you that in a later video. This is just for fun. Four fingers, pinch on the fourth finger and twist. And now we're going to take the red, squeeze, put it against the pinch twist. And when you pinch, grab it and rotate it. And as you rotate it, you're going to notice something very fun happening. The balloon walks itself around that tight spot. And now we're going to squeeze it. That makes your balloon soft because all your air is escaping to the tail and the tail's getting smaller and smaller. Oh, yes it is. But we still have room, as you can see, to put some more twists in this balloon. Okay, so now we're going to go down one more time. So we've gone three times. Up, down, up, down, and then one more up, down. So now we're here at the neck. We're going to squeeze the balloon and put all the rest of the air into that tip. We're going to fold it in half so that just maybe two fingers are sticking up from the neck. Two fingers. Now we're going to come down here. We're going to pinch your thumbs in, crisscross. Push your thumbs in, crisscross. Push your thumbs in, crisscross. Put your thumbs in, crisscross until you're here at the neck. Then I'm going to pinch and twist that last little two fingers and wrap it around the neck. And then I'm going to secure it by pushing it through those two balloons there. And then I'm going to readjust this balloon, this bubble, here to the middle. And there's our hair. Now we use your hand again. Five, five fingers, sometimes a thumb. Pinch, twist. Now when you're twisting, you wanna always go in the same direction. That means if this hand pushes the balloon away from you, this hand should be pulling towards you. And vice versa. If you like to twist towards you with this hand, going in this direction towards me, then your other hand needs to be twisting that way or you can have a holding hand and you can have a twisting hand so one hand holds and the other hand twists like that now we're going to make two pinch twists i'm going to squeeze and twist now what i did you might not have seen this trick balloon is very much like illusion it's magic it's fun okay so when i am about to pinch what i do i'm going to unpinch and twist this. I don't just pinch and twist. That would give me a hard bubble. What I do is I give it a little pinch all the way. I give it a hug and then I pinch and then it disappears. Hold on just a moment. I'm going to get another one. And hello and we're back. Mrs. Smith has something to tell you. People have been doing it a long time. We still pop balloons. It's part of the industry. So I inflated another balloon. I have a nice little tail here. Now, what I did is I went ahead and tied that balloon and cut the excess off so I just have a face and hair. To attach a new balloon, I'm gonna pinch it by the knot. I'm gonna put the knot here against the neck and I'm gonna wrap it around one, two, three. And now it's gonna hold right in there. Now we can keep twisting. Balloons are like Legos. Lots of fun. Okay, five fingers. 
Give it a slight hug before you pinch. Did you see that? Give it a slight hug with your fingers, then pinch and twist at the pinch, and that gives you soft bubbles, and they won't pop as often. I think the problem is I untwist it. Whenever you twist a balloon and then untwist a balloon, you've created a weak spot. So, I made two bubbles, and then I twisted them together off the camera. That's what I did. And now I'm going to push down, and I'm going to pinch this balloon. I'm going to come around here so you can see this. Pinch and roll. Once I pinched and started rolling, I just twist, and it walks itself around all by itself. That's how you get those pinches in. You don't force the balloon around. You could, but that would create heat, friction, popping. We don't like that. No, we don't. So anyways, two little pinch twists will create the hands. And now we're going to go to this joint, pinch, give a little hug, and then pinch and twist. One, two, three. You can always twist more than that, but usually three does the work. Now here's her hands. Now, all the little mermaids, they have seashells. So what I did is I already put just a little bit of air in the balloon and I tied it with a very long neck and I tied it here and cut a nice equal sized tail. Now we're going to grab it in the middle, pinch it in the middle and twist this side towards me. And I can twist this side away from me. So twisting in opposite directions and you try to get these the same size. Didn't work, so I'm gonna let go. You always take a chance of popping when you do that and redo it. But look, there we go. And now we wrap this around the tummy, around to their backside, over or under like a regular shoe knot, just like you're tying a shoe. And then put your finger in the middle and crisscross and tie that shoe again. And this time you take your finger out, give it a pull, and there you go, she has seashells. Now, is she's ready to go into her tail. So we're gonna put her under the other arm and we're gonna take the tail. Now, I have a nice long tail on this balloon. This is what it should look like. I'm gonna give it a squeeze and a stretch because I want to, this actually makes the balloon longer. Shh, another secret. <gasps> yes, grab your balloon, pull, and it creates heat and as you pull, it stretches bigger. So now if you look at it, it's a bit longer. The tail's also shorter. So I go halfway. This is my halfway point. I need to put two loops and one pinch twist in this thing. So I go, well, that's one loop, two loop, and a pinch twist. Okay, that's where I'm going to start. Now I'm going to pinch here, twist. I'm going to take my thumb, put my thumb right in here. My thumb is my guide to how big. If I can wrap that loop around my thumb, I know I got the right size. And now we're gonna do it again. I'm gonna use this thumb this time. Put my thumb in, bend it over my thumb. Try to make it the same size as the other bubble. Pinch, twist, one, two, three. And then we still have some more tail, so we're doing good. Now we're gonna do a pinch twist. A pinch twist is when you pinch, you pull, and you twist. Some people call it pinch twist. Some people call it a pull twist. I call it an ear twist because my name's Eileen. It starts with the letter E. So I like ear twist. Also because they use the ear twist to do the bodies of bears. So now remember, you wanna use one finger to give the balloon a soft hug. You want your second finger to give the pinch. That gives you a soft bubble that you then trap. So your main balloon's here, the balloon that you're working on's over here, and there's a bubble in the middle that you just made. Pull, pinch it, pull it up, close your eyes. Feel free to close your eyes. I did when I got started. So pull and twist, one, two, and three, and just have faith that it's not gonna blow up on you. <laughs> okay. Now this side is a little shorter than this side. We solve that problem by giving it a little squeeze and whoop, up it goes. Now we're gonna do the spiral, the one where you push your thumbs together. So push your thumbs together, crisscross, thumbs together, crisscross, 
thumbs together, crisscross, thumbs together, crisscross. Now this is a mermaid, so you want some tail. So this, at this point, four, three or four fingers, pinch both together, grab the two tails, and three times. One, two, three. Now it will unwind on you if you're not careful. So this is what you do. You do something, another, shh, another secret. It's called the lock twist. Ooh, lock twist. Lock twist is when you take one of your soft bubbles. Don't want the hard one. It might cause problems. Get a soft bubble. You open it up. And if you were twisting it in this way, then take that bubble, push it through through a loop or through the spiral twist. That makes the tail of a simple unicorn. <laughs> mermaid, I know unicorns too, they're my favorite. This is a mermaid, all right. I'm gonna bend it in a U shape and I'm gonna squeeze, 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 maybe wiggle. I'm creating friction, which creates heat, which molds the balloon to what I want it to be. There we go, this little mermaid's a little curvy. Now, this little mermaid, I'm going to pinch three fingers below her little seashell. Now this is how we join two balloons. Here's a joint where balloons come together and I've created a little joint on this balloon. I'm gonna push these joints together and now I want this to go around. I could force it by pushing it and pulling it, but uh, you're humans, we make tools. We have systems to get faster at things. So, once you're pinching the two joints together, all you have to do is take this one and turn it, and turn it, and turn it. And that balloon is gonna start walking. I had to check to see if there was a bear. No bear, kids just having fun. My kids, turn, 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 turn. And now we've joined the little mermaid to her tail. We don't need this part. So we're gonna do something called break and tie. You don't need scissors. You don't need sharp fingernails. I have very short fingers, nails. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to go fast. I'm gonna get these balloons side by side and I'm gonna dig my thumb into it like this. And while this thumb is going in, this is pulling away and these fingers are going to pinch it closed before it goes zooming off. One, two, three, boom! Sometimes it takes back and forth once or twice, but doing that just adds to the heat and then you can pinch the tail. We're in the wild woods, don't. These will biodegrade, but it takes four years and it looks awful trashy on the ground. So if you're doing balloons in nature, pack your trash out. So there it goes, into my bag. Let that out, but I'm not gonna just let go of this. I'm gonna do a figure eight. Wrap to the left and up, wrap to the right and up. Left, right. This, will I don't have to tie any knots. If I go figure eight long enough, it's gonna be so twisted, nowhere's gonna escape out of this baby. Now, she's coming together. We're going to tuck these seashells in between her arms. So we're going to pull her arms apart and use my thumbs and I'm gonna push those seashells forward. Forgive me, I did not have my purple balloons, so her seashells match her hair color today. I'm just readjusting it there. And we want her hair curvy. My daughter's over in this direction. Hi, sweetie. You shape, friction, back and forth movement. That'll shape the hair. Adjust the little waist petals. And now, marker art. Now, some balloon artists don't think they're good at art. So kids, pay attention to your art classes. It'll pay off and it'll be a lot of fun. Eyes are as easy as this. We're gonna do a circle. And then we're gonna do one, two, three eyelashes. So we're gonna do a circle. And then three eyelashes. One, two, three. Eyebrows. Now when you're drawing a face, keep the nose small. Really tiny, tiny letter U. And the mouth, keep the mouth small too. And there you go. I'm just going to make her eye just a little bit smaller, bigger, make them more easy size. 
She more looks like Robin now, Batman and Robin. But my wonderful people, this is Ariel at the East Verde River. And bye, we'll see you next time. Ah, ha, 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 ha. Who doesn't love to sing the Little Mermaid song? Bye, mermaid. Goodbye, all. Goodbye from Mrs. Smith, the silly balloon mom.